Hi, this is Eric at Tri Audio. When I first thought about doing a video on DACs, I figured I would take three DACs and compare them to one another. After all, that's what this channel does. Then I thought, why not compare these to the internal DACs that are in the streamers that these are actually replacing? Streamers like the Wing Mini and the Wing Pro. Now, a smarter person would have actually compared these to the first time they bought them to make sure that this was actually worth the extra money. Uh, I, I did not. Uh, what I continued to do was buy streamers and buy DACs because the audio files on the internet told me only an idiot would believe that what's in here would be as good as what's in here. And the audio files on the internet have never lied to me before, so why would they start now? So I just believed them. But then I thought, CD players have DACs, Blu-ray players, my phone, all sorts of things have DACs. So I decided to take this 20 minute exercise and turn it into an all day affair. I gathered up every DAC I could find in my entire house and compared them all to one another and thus went half my weekend. Before we get into the comparisons, let's take 60 seconds just to review what a DAC is. DAC is a digital to analog converter. What it does is it takes a digital audio file and converts it into an analog electrical signal. This analog signal is what's amplified through your amplifier and comes out of your speakers or headphones. Without a DAC of some sort, the digital ones and zeros are useless until they are turned into something our ears can hear. DACs are built into devices like CD players, smartphones, streamers. However, you can purchase an external one in an attempt to get better quality in the production of that analog signal because we're audiophiles and we're scared of not having perfect sound. As long as it's within a budget, your wife won't question. In order to use the external DAC, your streamer or CD player just needs to be able to output its digital signal so you can feed that into the external DAC. So now that we know what a DAC is, what I did was I went around the house and found every item that was capable of taking CD quality audio and outputting an analog audio signal. And these are the items. Let's break down exactly what these are. So we're gonna start with the things that can play discs here real quick. I got this JVC CD player from Goodwill for 10 bucks a few years ago. It works some of the time. I got this Pioneer CD player for my 19th birthday in 1987, and it still works most of the time. I found hooked to the TV sets in the house, this Sony DVD player and this Sony Blu-ray player. I don't believe they have had discs in them since I got all the seasons of Trailer Park Boys on DVD. So let's look at the external DACs that I have. I have a Shit Audio Modius, a Giselli's Lab J2, a Shit Audio Modi 3, and a Shit Audio Modi Plus. None of these are particularly expensive. I'm gonna put the prices up here that I paid for them. And I think you can still buy the Modi and uh, a version of the Giselli's J2, but these are not top of the line decks. They are not free. They're not cheap. Uh, they are not this or this. And hell no, they're not this. And let's look at what else I could find. This is my old cell phone. Uh, it is a Samsung, I want to say it was an A14. And the scary part is I was using this up until not very long ago. It of course has a audio jack. And so it uh, has a DAC in it. This is the Wing Pro, the Wing Mini. These are adapters to use with a newer cell phone, uh, which I have because, you know, a newer cell phone is more expensive and has less capability than the old cheap phone. So I actually bought that, that, and another one that I can't show you right now because, well, I'm using it. So I have three of those. I have a tablet that is a Samsung Galaxy tablet, an old Chromebook that still works, and my new Chromebook. So that is a total of 17 items that have DACs. Now it's time to compare them. So here's how I'm doing the comparison. I have this RCA switch. It allows me to bring in six inputs to one output. The output right now is to a receiver and I can bring on six devices, which are CD players, DAC, streamers. I get them all playing the same song at the exact same time. The Weem streamers, you can uh, link up through the app so they're all playing the same song. And then for the CD players, I get the exact same songs going in the CDs. And then I just switch between them. 
that allows you to hear the same song being played on each device at the exact same time, allows you to hear any difference at all. There is no way you could do a comparison without a device like this. Well, I'm in the middle of this comparison and I just realized that my Sony Blu-ray player doesn't have any analog outputs. So I guess I only have 16 DACs, not 17. Not long after discovering the Blu-ray player didn't have analog audio out, I remembered that my desktop computer has a DAC because I have speakers connected to it. And yes, they are Bose speakers and, and please don't hold that against me. So I did this comparison multiple times. I did it in two different rooms with two different speakers and two different stereos. And I can honestly say the results were identical. It didn't really matter the room, the stereo, or the speakers. I did always make sure I had CD quality music going, so either a store-bought CD or lossless audio streamed through Spotify at 24-bit, 44.1 kilohertz. So in last place, we have this old cell phone. It is a Samsung Galaxy A14. It was my cell phone until pretty recently. Uh, the audio out of this thing into a stereo system is darn near unlistenable. I, even though I had the volume cranked on this, I'd had to really crank the volume on the stereo just to get any sort of volume out of it. And when I did, it sounded tinny and bad. Now, in this defense, no one bought this phone for its sound quality. You were probably listening to music through earbuds, which I would, and it sounded okay with these little cheap $10 earbuds. But put through a stereo, this definitely dead last out of all these decks. Now, to make things a little easier to understand as far as how far apart each of these are in quality, I'm going to assign them each an album as though I were doing an album review. And if this DAC were an album, it would be Lulu. That is how far down the list this is. So next it's a tie between these two USB-C adapters. I had to buy these because my new expensive phone didn't have an audio port and I kind of like to listen to headphones every once in a while. So I didn't want to spend much money. I thought, oh, how bad could they be? Uh, I'm going to put on the screen here what I bought and how much I paid for them. And you'll see I didn't pay much at all. And in this case, I got exactly what I paid for. I got crap sound that was thin and tinny. And these two are pretty unlistenable too. Uh, since there's two of them, I'm going to give them a, the assignment of a double album. I'm going to say this is Pink Floyd's Uma Guma. So next up we have these four because they all sounded identical to each other. It's the desktop computer, the two Chromebooks, and the tablet. I don't think it really matters what the exact model numbers of these are. I think the key is, is that they're all from reputable big name manufacturers and they're all intended for another purpose. They're all computers. They're not really hi-fi devices. And for that, it's hard to fault them for not having great music. It's okay music. It uh, is a little low on the volume when hooked to a stereo. You still had to crank it up a little bit to get decent volume out of it. They're not as bad as the ones we just talked about, but rest assured, they're not as good as the ones that we're going to talk about. But no one buys these really for their hi-fi quality. So if your expectations are moderate, you're going to get kind of what you would expect out of these decks. It's kind of like a mid-career Aerosmith album. So next up we have this USB-C to audio adapter. I paid a decent amount more for it than those other two. Those other two were garbage. But here I at least got my money's worth. It is decent. It's got uh, pretty good sound, good highs. It's probably only flaws that it's quieter than the DAX that we're going to talk about next. But overall, pretty good. I'm sure you can even spend more money and get one even better than this. But I just took a shot in the dark on Amazon and, and it paid off. So I would say this is better than most, but not flawless. I would say kind of like any Frank Black album. Next up are the Pioneer CD player, the Sony DVD slash CD player, the analog output of the Weem Pro and the analog output of the Weem Mini. All these are together because they all sound the same. No difference whatsoever. They all had very clear highs, very deep lows, very good sound stage. No complaints on any of this. So I think the key is, is that not really the model numbers, but the fact that they're all from major manufacturers and they're all devices intended to be used with stereo systems. They're all intended for hi-fi and they all did really good. No complaints. If you weren't comparing them to something better, you would never know that it could be better. In that regards, this is like 
women and children first. So actually you can do better than that last group. And this thing does. This is a JVC CD DVD player that I bought at Goodwill for 10 bucks several years ago, just on a whim. And who knew? So it is a little punchier in the drums. It is a little smoother on the highs when you got the volume really cranked up, but not a ton. I mean, it's minor. I mean, you gotta really look for it. So I would say this is like 2% better than that last group. So what's 2% better than women and children first? Fair warning. So all we have left are the four DACs and guess what? They all sounded identical. I know that might be disappointing. It's disappointing to me. They cost different and uh, they all sound the same. Uh, these two pretty much are the same model. They're, I think they're just different versions of the same model. They're the Modi Plus and the Modi 3. So no surprise there. And it doesn't surprise me they sound the same as this other shit audio one. I think this is just a simply uh, a more optioned model because it has two sets of analog outputs. But the fact that it sounded the same as the Gishele Labs, the Shelly Labs J2 was a little quieter, I mean, just a hair. And I could accommodate for that in the Weem app and then get them all volume matched. And once that was done, man, they sounded completely identical. So these four do sound better than that previous JVC CD player, but barely. And where they sound better is at high volumes. At low and moderate volumes, they sound the same as that CD player. And they sound the same as those other CD players and uh, the Weem streamers. But at high volumes, these are smoother. At high volumes, those other ones could start to be a little harsh. These don't get that way. And the vocals are probably a little fuller when turned up on these. So there is a sound quality difference at high volumes. These don't get fatiguing. It is subtle. I mean, very subtle, but if you listen for it, it is there. If these are an album or two, they would be Van Halen 1 in 1984. That is how close in quality these are to the others. They're better, but man, just barely. So what surprised me the most in this is the audio quality out of the analog outputs of these Weem devices. Even this little hockey puck thing that has just a little headphone jack on here. It sounded the same as these RCA plugs on this Wing Pro. And I would have thought it would have sounded like this phone, but man, it had head and shoulders above this phone. It wasn't even close. This sounds as good as a CD player. Now granted, one of those CD players was from 1989, but still, I, I was very impressed. It didn't sound quite as good as this, but it sounded pretty close. So the other thing that surprised me was that these didn't really distinguish themselves as being head and shoulders better than the other items. Yeah, they were better if you really paid attention and turned the volume up really loud and concentrated and flip back and forth. You could hear it. I would have thought there would have been more to it than that. I would have thought even at moderate volumes, you could hear how these were better. So I know these are not the best DAX in the world. They're not terribly expensive, but they are from major players in the DAC game. So I guess I was a little disappointed that these didn't perform better. One last album analogy. I think that telling me an external DAC is always better than an internal DAC is like telling me that steel wheels is better than dirty work. I think it's just what history has led people to believe and they just keep repeating it over and over without actually ever sitting down and truly listening to it. And if they did, I think they would find the one that they think is superior it really isn't. And the one that they think is far inferior really isn't. It's really just that one looks better than the other. Now granted, these are very cheap DACs, so maybe a $2,000 DAC is Exile on Main Street. I'm done with metaphors. Thanks for watching.